हेलो नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वाचिंग वेंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा West Asia is on a knife edge. Iran says it wants to punish Israel. The US says an attack is being planned and airlines say we are cancelling flights. So all the signs are there. Is Iran planning to go to war with Israel directly? More importantly, can the region afford a second or a wider conflict? We we'll look at the possible consequences. Meanwhile, gold prices have touched a record high. Central banks across the world are buying gold in large quantities. What does this mean for you, the consumer, and why are, are they doing it in the first place? In Washington, the US and Japan are upgrading their relationship. Why is India sending defense attaches to global South countries? How is the AI race heating up? What does India's Prime Minister have to say about China? Why are doctors in Kenya on strike? How Rishi Sunak's choice of sneakers has led to an uproar? And finally, do you have a love-hate relationship with your sibling? We'll tell you why they're so important in our lives. All this and more coming up, the headlines first. In India, controversy erupts in Rahul Gandhi's constituency, Vayanad. The BJP's Kerala president, who is taking on the Congress leader, says if he wins the election, he will change the name of a town associated with Tipu Sultan. The, the town got its name after the Muslim ruler invaded the region in the 1700s. Mali's junta suspends all activities by political parties, saying the move is to maintain public order. On the 1st of April, more than 80 political parties had issued a joint statement calling for presidential elections. The West African country has been under military rule since 2020. Ukrainian parliament approves an army mobilization law to boost troop numbers. Earlier this month, President Zelensky had lowered the mobilization age from 27 to 25. The Ukrainian military is on the back foot as Russia intensifies its offensive. In South Korea, the opposition sweeps the National Assembly elections. The leader of the ruling opposition, the ruling party, resigns. South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol promises reforms. Yoon still has three years left in office, but the results have turned him into a lame duck president. And a billionaire property tycoon is sentenced to death in Vietnam. Truong Mai Lan was found guilty in a multi-billion dollar fraud case. It is one of the biggest corruption cases in Vietnam's history.